Hello there, Seb here from Motor Home Dealer Group and welcome to this video guide on the Sargent EC176 Power Supply Unit. This video guide is going to cover just the basic operation of this unit, what it does and uh, how to uh, understand what role it plays inside your leisure vehicle. This is not going to cover any in-depth troubleshooting or anything along those lines. For that kind of thing, please consult your manuals and documentation or seek the help of a technical professional. This is just going to be essentially a quick start guide just so that you know how to use this unit inside your leisure vehicle. So let's get started. Okay, so a power supply unit such as this is basically going to serve as an electrical hub, if you will. It's going to house a few things that in many vehicles can be separate units uh, or pieces of hardware. Uh, but a power supply unit kind of uh, gathers all these things together in one place and manages it. And so what we have inside this unit is our 12 volt fuse box. We'll also have our mains electrical consumer unit or breaker panel. And then we'll have some electrical isolators just for turning off mains electric circuits as well uh, at, the, at the press of a button. But this also will have a battery charger as well. And that, of course, can then be used to charge your leisure battery or uh, whatnot. So uh, it's a very... Um, Simple unit, really. There's not really a lot to it, uh, but it serves quite a nice, important role and helps you manage your electrical systems much easier. Now, typically, a sergeant power supply unit like this will also communicate with a sergeant control panel as well, which is what you'll be using to turn on or off the various functions in your motorhome and monitor battery and water tank levels. And please do check our playlist of main control panels and uh, we should have a video for your control panel, I would think. So uh, that will cover what your control panel does as well. But this video, of course, just focusing on the power supply unit here. So on the left here, we have the 12 volt fuse box. There it is. And as you can see, we have the fuses in there and on the backing plate, there are the numbered locations. And then you can look to see which each of those fuses apply uh, to the right there we have over to the side here we have your mains consumer unit with the rcd and then mcb trip switches just there and uh, again they are labeled so that you know what they do up here we have our electrical isolators there's one for the heating and hot water systems this one's labeled heater just here and then we have one for the battery charger so when they're pushed in and on they illuminate when supplied with the mains electrical current so those are on and working. There is also a 12 volt DC shutdown button here. This is the system shutdown button. You'll operate this under the advice of a technician or when uh, storing the motorhome for long periods. But again, consult your documentation or speak to your handover specialist uh, when collecting the vehicle to understand when that is going to need to be pressed. Um, but otherwise that's it and of course like I say the battery charger is also part of this unit as well hence the ventilation because when the battery charger needs to work a bit harder of course it's going to heat up and it needs some cooling there so that's it like I say we have the 12 volt fuses on the left mains electrical trip switches on the right electrical isolators at the top and we have the system shutdown button in the middle now a question I get uh, a fair bit is do we need to turn these off at any time and the answer is no, really. You don't really need to turn off your electrical isolators unless you knowingly have an issue with one of those pieces of equipment. Uh, when they're turned on, they, of course, are working. If I was to unplug the mains lead right now, it would just kill the power to the mains uh, or kill the main supply into the vehicle, which would, of course, just turn these off essentially anyway. So there's no real re to uh, reason to turn these off unless you are uh, troubleshooting or controlling a particular issue. And that about covers it. That's how to use the EC176 power supply unit. I hope you found this video useful. I'm Sev and thank you very much for watching.